I wouldn't make people feel unwelcome. I don't know how many times in the last six months at city council meetings I've had people that were there to testify leave, tell me they were leaving because he was so caustic and so uninviting. Um, I also believe that there needs to be dialogue, and that's why I, I've suggested repeatedly on the campaign trail that we need a monthly forum, and that that would include a press would be invited, citizens would be invited, and instead of just a public comment period where people stand up and it's a one-way conversation with the council like we have at the end of council meetings, this would be a two-way dialogue where questions could be asked, reasons given, and dialogue happens between our leaders, all the city council members and the mayor would be invited monthly. I know I would be there every month because I enjoy dialogue and I also enjoy listening to people, but I also enjoy the back and forth of why you do things and why things are the way they are. And so I think that would create a more inviting. I also think the other thing that we need to do in meetings is um, a lot of the times the ordinances are very um, structural and very academic. And it's like you're watching an insider baseball game and Things need to be clearly explained, what this is, what this does, and combined with the forums, I think we can have a lot more transparency and openness with our community. I have the advantage of having been the council president and, the, and having uh, run meetings uh, with my own style, my own way. And I, I would be surprised if you could find anyone in town who would say anything but that uh, I always treated people with respect. I always gave the council um, members the deference that they deserve and the time that they deserve uh, to, to make their case and to make their comments uh, and treated people at the podium with respect and civility. I brought that when I first came as a council member. We had, as you may know, we had a very difficult and challenging council when I first became a council member. We changed the atmosphere in the council. We, we, we got rid of that, that very, um, uh, very uh, unsettling and, and uh, dif difficult relationships that the council members had with each other. We just stopped it. We just decided that it was not, it was not helpful. We were um, getting a lot of bad publicity around the country. Uh, and we stopped it. And I carried that same kind of attitude when I became the council president two years later. That's how I run the meetings. And I, as I said, I, I think that people have already seen me in that role and know how I would do that.